Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews on YouTube. I'm Bruce Simpson, I'm the guy that does the reviews and it's the weekly news time again. The not so weekly, weekly news. A little bit of a roundup stuff that's arrived in the last week. First of all, must apologise, I have been moving house. That means it's taken two weeks to move house because I had to do it mostly myself. Had some friends help out with the really big stuff but it's been backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, lots of boxes. And now I'm still living in a forest of boxes in the home, in the home house we moved into. So that's meant also a lot of boxes had to come out to the workshop because we have to make space in a new place to put everything away, which has really sort of cramped my style a little. Never mind, I do have some things here to have a look at today. And first up, I got this. Now this is the, well first of all, I asked Security Camera 2000, remember I reviewed the Boss Cam HD recording camera, and I said, oh, it's a shame it doesn't have a mount. And Security Camera 2000, the nice people there, said, oh, we'll send you a mount. And I was expecting, oh, they'll give me a little bent bracket. I can screw onto a model and put the camera on. But no, look, look. <laughs> they sent, in this box here, they sent me this. And this is a uh, tilt pan with two servos, digital servos, tilt pan mount. It's got little bearings and everything. It's, you know, um, it's far more than I expected. And so I'm going to do a review on this. Now, I have to say right up, front that it sounds like a great idea but I have, my, I have concerns about the implementation of this device um, it's a shame it could have been a lot better than it is I don't know what the price is I'll put a link in the description of the video you can go and see for yourself I assume it's on the website I'll have a hunt and find it but um, yeah it's okay if it's cheap I'd buy it if it's not cheap if they're charging too much then I'd say mm, maybe there are other options but yeah certainly um, it's a piece of kit you might want to look at no so I will be reviewing that so Stand by for that. Now also, the people at Foxtech sent me this. And this is their new 5.8 gigahertz 32 channel transmitter receiver combo. So in here we've got a transmitter. I don't know what, how much power it is. I didn't actually look. Couldn't, I haven't really even unboxed it because we don't do unboxings here, do we? But uh, yeah, it's got a little receiver, a little transmitter. Well, the receiver's actually bigger than the normal 508 or 805, whatever it is. Um, and it does all the 5.8 gigahertz FPV channels. Brilliant! It does the immersion RC channels and the ones for the 200 milliwatt packs like I have in the um, FPV backpack, original prototype there. So it's great, it covers all the bases, which means that you can actually mix and match. Because I know a lot of people, you really have to commit to one side or the other. You either go with the Boscam, Foxtech, Skytech um, 5.8 system, or you go with the immersion RC 5.8. And you can't use one with the other, except until now, because this transmitter will work with either the uh, one, both of the other types of receivers, and the receiver will work, will work with both of the other types of transmitters. Brilliant! Why didn't they do this earlier? So it means a lot of that stuff can really be useful now. now I don't know if I mentioned this before. This is the orange 2.4 gigahertz transmitter module. It says on the box it's DSMX and DSM2. Uh, on the module it only says DSM2. So I'm going to check and find out whether it really does do DSMX. And why would you buy this? Why would you buy a DSM module today when you've got so much better technology like the FreeSky available at, you know, really low cost? Although this is pretty cheap. Well, the, the answer to that is simple. Or if you live in Australia, the answer to that is simple. It's because there's so many bind and fly models out there. You know, you've got the park zones and the beast and, and, and the little vapour and that, they're all bind and fly. And they only work with DSM. So. If you want to fly those things, you can take your 9X radio or even your new Free Sky Tyrannus radio and you can put this module in it and you can fly all those little binder flies. Yeah, so it's worth it for the small investment if it works. I'll test it. Be reviewed. Coming up. Also, I got this envelope in the mail. It came from Old Blighty the, over in England there. It came from a gentleman whose name is, let me open the handwritten letter, Mr. Stephen... Oh, I don't know how you say the surname. Stefan S. I'll just call him Stefan S because I'm useless with names. Anyway, he sent me some, he says, please find and close some of the products that I sell in the UK. Two board camera protectors, servo mount, four micro servo mounts, and two standard size servo mounts. Would really appreciate your feedback on these items. Can you contact me by email? I won't tell you his email address because you'll probably spam him. But look, it's, it's actually laser cut ply. Now this is good. I love it because 
I hate cutting plywood. You know, you can't cut it with a modeling knife because it's just too hard. And if you're using your little coping saw frets, or you can't get the sharp corners and you know, there's a lot of farting around. So things like this, that a laser cut out of ply, are brilliant. I love them because of the, you know, you can make some really cool stuff out of bits of ply. It reminds me of the old days. It was a hobby where you, they gave you all these little bits of ply and you cut them out with a fret saw and built houses and cars and things. But this makes some really useful stuff. A board camera mount. Now that's got to be useful because at the moment I use hot glue. <laughs> so a board camera mount that you can just glue together, stick your board, bolt your board camera to it, if that's how it works, is great. So I've got a selection of these and I will be reviewing these as well. But what have I been doing as, apart from all this promising new reviews? Well, I have been doing the builds. The Caparina build, Caparina? The, the seaplane build from our Team Black Sheep, that's well underway. And I'll be editing up some of that video shortly. Here's a sneak preview. Do a dry fit up, I've done a dry fit up on this. Dry fit up for those who don't know just means put it together without glue. And it's really easy in this case because all these bits seem to be quite nicely engineered. And if I push this together, you'll see what I'm talking about. There you go, look at that. Now I notice there is a little bit of a gap here, but ah, that doesn't matter because the strength is coming from these carbon rods. So be watching for that very soon because I want to do a lot of work with that little Caprina. And because we've got, that's a flying wing, it's a black flying wing, I've also got the RV jet which is another flying wing, FPV flying wings, bigger of course. So we'll see if bigger's better, because we get them both going. And of course, there is the Tyrannus. I've been using the Free Sky Tyrannus quite a bit in the last week or so. And I'm sorry to have to tell you that I really love it. It's brilliant, it's a wonderful radio. Oh my goodness, if I'd been designing and building a radio myself, that's probably what it would have been. But I didn't have to because Free Sky have done it for me. I haven't found much in the way of bad things at all. Oh, there's a couple of little things, which I'll cover in the next part of the review of that particular radio, but I'm trying to get as much stick time as I can so I can give you an informed perspective. But needless to say, probably quite telling that I'm busy transferring over all my other models, my Mustang and my profiles and a lot of my FPV models, transferring them over to the Tyrannus because it's got such a huge memory, it can take them all. One of the downsides of the original Turnigy 9X, if you're using the standard software, it's only got eight model memories. You can go to the ER9X, it gives you more memories, but the Free Sky the Tyrannus has Heaps more than you'd ever use, I can't remember. Oh, I lost count, I can only go to 10 when I count, but certainly more than 10. And so I love that radio, I love it an awful lot. And you'll see a lot more of that on the RC Model Reviews channel in the very near future, because everyone's sending me emails saying, what is it like, what do you think of it really? Is it any good? And I gotta say, yeah, I love it, I love it. They'll have to prize that from my cold dead hands before they take that from me. But that's it for another week. The sun's getting low now, it's winter, short days. Anyway, so that's the not so weekly, weekly news for another week. Stay tuned. I'm just moving boxes so I can finish those builds over there. I've got the Caparina build, which is all but done. And I'll be editing the video in the next couple of days, as I said. So thank you for watching. If you uh, enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments, questions on the bottom below. Stay tuned. There are some videos coming up on the XJet channel too, because I'm getting out and about with my FPV models, and I want to do some of the local sites from the air. Bye for now.